to all of my manga and Batman fans alike, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably will know that we've been talking quite a bit about the fact that manga is pretty much destroying comic books, North American comic books more specifically, when it comes to sales. And a little while back, there was some talk that the very, very hot and popular manga series, One Piece, was nearing overselling Batman in Batman's entire lifetime since 1939. Well, crazy enough, today, July 21st, it is official. One Piece has sold more copies since 1997 than Batman has since 1939 that is just absolutely insane and it really goes to show you how far comic books have fallen from grace i think the thing that's most astounding about this fact is that batman has been around for 80 plus years now since 1939 and one piece has only been around since 1997 so since 1997 less than 30 years it has taken One Piece to sell 490 million copies of One Piece content. Batman, in, on the other hand, since 1939, is estimated to have sold roughly 480 million copies. There's such a huge discrepancy between the amount of time that it's taken One Piece to sell that much and Batman. I'm not here to say that One Piece is better than Batman. I'm actually a huge Batman fan. I love Batman. I have so many videos related to Batman on this channel, but to me, it's just super astounding. This really marks the beginning of the end for the comic book medium. Now, I'm not here to talk doom and gloom, and I'm not here to tell you that comic books are going to pretty much cease publication, but I can say with great certainty, based on reading this statistic, that comic books have fallen from their pedestal. They will never, ever be as popular as they once were. In the 1930s, 40s, 50s, most children, 90% of children, both boys and girls, read some genre of comic book on a regular basis. Nowadays, that, that number, I would probably go so far as to say maybe only one to 2% of the actual North American population reads North American comic books. Manga, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. In Japan, yes, it is a different market, different demographic, but most people, children, teenagers, even adults, most of them read manga and they're constantly going out to buy new manga content. When you land in Japan, I mean, I've never been to Japan, do plan to go, but from what I've heard, the minute you land, you see manga everywhere. You like you cannot turn anywhere in Japan without finding a place to buy manga. Comic books, on the other hand, if you're in North America, the only place now you can pretty much buy comic books is in a comic book store. Now I've complained a lot about this channel about that fact that the only place you can buy comic books is in a comic book store. I really do wish that we could go back to the days where you could buy comic books at 7-Eleven, grocery stores, drug stores, and heck, even comic book shops as well. But um, those days are gone. As my friend and colleague Eric Breen has said many times, those days are gone and they are never coming back. But manga? Manga is just a lot more accessible. It's a lot more accessible in Japan, and it's actually becoming a lot more accessible here in North America as well. Not too long ago, we talked about how in May of 2021, the top 20 best-selling graphic novels of that month were all manga. There was not one American comic book on that list when usually there is, and it's usually it's something like Batman or Spider-Man. Nope. And that month, which was actually rather recently, wasn't too long ago, it was all manga. So it's actually really kind of crazy for me to think about that, that it took Batman 80 years to sell 480 million copies and One Piece less than 
30 years to sell 490 million copies. That's just, that's just crazy. I know a lot of you are probably going to reach out and say, you know, comic books are not what they used to be. Like the content in comic books has changed and it's just not interesting to readers anymore. Yeah, in many ways I would, I would agree with that, but I think it's more than just that that's affecting the sales of comic books. Comic books are way too expensive um, and they're just not an, an accessible medium anymore. Comic books have become pretentious funny enough to say like you know i remember the days when they were called funny books and nowadays comics are considered a pretentious medium the artists and the writers that work in the industry you know put themselves up on a pedestal and they are pretentious themselves manga on the other hand manga is not like that the manga industry caters to the masses and manga is for everyone comic books are pretty much marketed as being just for a small specialized demographic of people mainly white males over 30 and manga is for everyone. Now, one of the problems that most people are talking about is that, yeah, they're trying to make comic books more for other people other than white males, but it's just not working. In Japan though, there is a manga literally pretty much for any topic that you can think of and it sells. So I'd really like to hear from you all. What do you think about the news that One Piece has outsold Batman now in such a short period of time? Let me know in the comments and I'd really like to know what you think the future of comic books is going to be based on this statistic. And do you think that there's anything the comic book industry can do to improve their sales? So that about does it for our video today. Really hope you enjoyed it. This is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.